Hello everyone, welcome to JHC Gaming, your number one source for Shotgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Enjoy the video. What is up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we keep looking at the brand new skill tree in Shadowgun Legends update 090 coming out soon. Yesterday, we looked at the combat tree. Today, we look at the survival tree. Now, first of all, let's take a quick look at how's the survival tree doing right now in the meta, in PvE and in PvP. The best skills or some of the best survival skills in the game there, very popular. Now, first of all, Deflector Skin is super cheap at one survival. It's really used a lot in PvP, in duels, I guess, more than team PvP, but I see it a lot in both. Although I don't play that much PvP, but you guys will confirm in the comments. Uh, Deflector Skin is huge, right? It's gonna save you for a lot of tough spots. Now, the HP stuff, it's 50% extra health and 25% auto heal activation. Uh, and auto heal power so auto heal boost it's like we take it for granted right now nobody really talk about it everyone is using it and we don't really know how good or how important it is because we kind of never played without so we'll look into it a little bit more in a minute but let's keep going so one here is kind of cheap i think it's six i don't even remember but uh emp is a freaking problem right now in the game a lot of people complaining about it. It's just broken in PvP right now. It's cheap, it's easy to get access to it. And it's got a huge radius, it's a short cooldown, it lasts kinda long, and it's gonna cancel or prevent opponents, the whole team, for using skill in PvP. So if two guys in the team have it and they rotate, there's almost always an EMP down. So it is a good defense versus blink, which is also you know, annoying. I mean it's it's got its use but it's it's a problem right now in the game i mean tell me what you think about it but i know i read a lot of comments about emp something needs to be done about it now another one is survival kit it's still broken there's a bug the damage bug uh, search my channel go to youtube at jhc gaming damage bug and you will see some videos it's been around forever i mean it's only pve uh it doesn't ruin the experience for other players and it sometimes happened without even trying. But I really like Survival Kit still. And I said since Gold Arena came out, if they ever get rid of the damage bug, I would still use Survival Kit in Arena. Because it's just really good to keep you alive. Uh, when you're back to the wall, when you're doing the decimators, and they explode on your face all the time, if you drop a Survival Kit, it's gonna keep you alive. It's gonna... I mean, you won't have to run around that much. And you can keep your position... With survival kit however it's freaking broken also in capture the flag people with survival kit ruining the game right now it's just i don't know if survival kit's too strong but is the time to kill that's too slow since they nerfed the legendary damage it takes too much time to kill players and it, the survival kit gives them back too much help so yeah it is a problem i know people will say uh hit for the the head get some crit uh tag team but i mean you know what I'm talking about, right? Now, the useful stuff and probably the best uh, skills in uh, PvE and PvP may be Flag Jacket. 25% explosion resistance is freaking huge. Uh, rocket launchers, uh, grenades in PvP. And in Arena, the Decimators, the Void Colors, and stuff like that. It's really good. I always use uh, this in end game content. And also, uh, the melee resistance, 15% is kind of big, I guess a big number. And projectile resistance, although it's just 5%, combined with the chest or the buff in the bar, it adds a little bit more. And it's really good in PvP. Now, they announced they will shuffle everything. They want to rebalance the whole tree, remove the hybrid trees or the hybrid branch. Uh, so let's look at the new survival tree. This is what the survival tree will look like after the update 090 and once again uh these videos are pre-recorded i had to record uh, before wednesday because i'm leaving so i don't know what they said on thursday's mad stream yet i mean at the moment this video is going live i will know more but we still don't know all the details 
and I'm guessing that it goes from 1 to 13, like a snake. And every time you unlock one, you get access to the next one. Now, it goes from 1 point to 13. And first thing you got to notice, guys, is 13 is EMP. You will have to invest 13 points in survival to get access to EMP. So that will kind of shuffle the meta, obviously. If someone's going to invest 13 points here just to unlock EMP, it's going to have only 7 points left for combat and agility. So it is a huge surprise for me. I did not expect that at all. And I think it's one way to balance the meta for sure. But let's look at the rest still. Uh, I think it's not just that, okay? I mean, I hope they also balance the skill, like nerf it kind of. They already said they want to touch it, so I don't know. Like if they're going to change the cooldown, the radius or something like that. Or if it's just going to be a visual effect. But if they nerf it too much and you have to invest 13 points, I think it's just going to be killed. Because if it's good, it's worth investing points. If it's not that good, it's not worth 13 points, I guess. So we will see what the future will show in the game. I mean, people will experiment. I'm expecting the first few weeks of the update 090 people will have to try stuff different combinations and uh, see how they do now what else look at the the top row uh auto heal boost i talked about it a minute ago i told you guys auto heal boost for a year and a half it's always been there it's always been in the way and we don't even i guess we don't even test it it's just there so we have auto heal boost but we don't know if it's really needed when we don't have it. Now expect uh, to play without it. Because it's I think it's 11 points in survival to have auto heal boost. So like once again it's like 25% activation, 25% uh, speed or something like that. So it's just numbers and we're used to have it. I cannot wait to see how it will affect the game and how many people will feel the need to go for it. Now, the rest, you have to go low. Uh, the 15% extra HP is only 2 points. The med kit is only 1 point, so med kit will be super easy to have access to. Uh, selling, guys, I don't know what to say yet, but expect the respec to be very expensive. They increase the max credit and they say... Uh, just a friendly tip it's gonna be very it's gonna be more expensive i don't know if 1 million credits will be enough to rebuy everything the guy on the picture went i think nine four and seven or something and you see none of the skills are max it kind of like one point there four points there i i mean i don't know i cannot wait to see but i think maybe it's gonna be useful to have shoulders like selling shoulders in your inventory once again like a year and a half ago i said keep uh keep some selling shoulders so when you sell you equip you get more credits back i mean maybe we'll be hunting for credits deflector skin is four and now it's pretty cheap you see right after deflector skin it's uh melee resistance and explosion resistance at five and six so you won't have to invest nine points or eight points to have explosion resistance but projectile resistance is a bit higher so at eight points you will have projectile resistance explosions melee but yeah you will be missing the auto heal and you will be missing the emp so survival will require a big investment if you want to have the top skills at the end of the three another thing i want to talk about guys is invisibility tech it's only seven points right now. So it's gonna be much easier now to play around with invisibility tech. I think it's not that good in PvP from what I've read on the boards. Uh, people say even if you're invisible, we still kind of see you. So I mean, I don't know, but in PvE is gonna be interesting. In some dungeons, I mean, we don't play around with it that much. But it's gonna help with the speed runs a little bit. You will have a chance to sneak and go to a switch in Voltaic Fist, for example. A Blade Dancer, sneak for the colds or the explosions. Uh, it's gonna open a few doors, a uh, few more possibilities. So I think it's really interesting to have access to invisibility. And I think it will maybe uh, encourage people to try it a little bit more in PvP. 
it will shuffle up the game a little bit i guess now the rest not sure i want to really talk too much about it but pick up radius at the top is still in the game is something that people really don't don't care about and the emergency shield at the top also so guys uh that will be it for the survival tree i don't have much more to say but once again the biggest change emp at the very end of the three auto heal stats that i cannot wait to see how it will affect the game because it will require once again a very big investment in points but the rest i think i'm pretty happy with the changes uh but i mean i don't know if you guys saw the whole uh, skill tree yet um but projectile resistance will probably force people to make decisions here it's a well-balanced skill tree and again the difference between 20 points or 21 points like i said many times in the past if they only add one more point it's gonna change a lot it's gonna maybe cut a lot of decisions because right now it's always a tough decision between one point here or on the other side it gives you access to something and you lose something if they give us one more point it's just gonna ruin it a little bit i mean i don't know if they plan to do or give more points i don't think we need more points right now and in the new meta uh, it's gonna be very similar you'll have to decide if you put that one point here or there to gain projectile resistance or not have access to projectile resistance it's that big so once again leave a comment below guys i want to hear from you what do you think about the recent or the upcoming changes to the survival three how do you think it will affect the PvP and the PvE builds? What are you planning to do so far? What are your favorite skills? I mean, let's start talking about it because it's coming soon and we will have chances to uh, start experimenting with the new builds uh, very soon. Now, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications because tomorrow we look at the Agility 3. I kept the best for last, of course. Uh, once again, a, a lot of cool changes. So... Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. I will be back soon. Until then, watch my other videos. Take care.